Since I first heard about the GTS 450, I thought it would be interesting to test this card because it is coming in at around a hundred US dollar price point. I wanted to test it as a dedicated PhysX card. So you can see I've got it configured here right now with a GTX 480 and then the GTS 450. Because this is for PhysX and not for SLI, there's no need to install any SLI bridges or anything like that. And I am using a motherboard that has two PCIe 16X slots. So that's all you really need for PhysX. Now, when you want to configure a dedicated PhysX card, all you do is go into the NVIDIA control panel. Okay, so you go into set PhysX configuration, and then you select your PhysX processor. So auto select would probably select the 450, but I've gone ahead and selected the 450 anyway. You can see the other options would be to run PhysX on the 480, run it on the CPU, which is slow, or run it on the 450. So then all you do is click apply and that's all there is to it. So you can see here it says, yeah, PhysX is running here and then the display is running here. So that's fairly straightforward. So what I'm going to do is I'll uh, do up a little graph with some benchmark results. This is the same test bench I used for my GTS 450 review as well as my GTS 450 uh, SLI review, well, review. And uh, so I'm just gonna go ahead and compare the 480 numbers I got without a dedicated PhysX card. So while I was running PhysX on the, on the 480 itself with adding the 450 to take a little bit of the load off it. Well, I think based on the numbers, the conclusion for this video is quite simple because you can see that a GTX 480 is a little over $500 after rebate on the NCIX site. And then a GTS 450 is gonna run you about $129.99. So you're adding about 25% more cost to your setup by adding a GTS 450 on top of the GTX 480 that in theory you already own but you also get about on average a 24.5 percent improvement in performance so it's not actually very often on premium parts that you can pay an extra dollar to get an extra proportional amount of performance like usually you see a point of diminishing returns where you're spending you know twice as much but you're only getting you know, 1.5 times the amount of performance. So it's actually a pretty good value from that perspective. But the drawback is that out of all of the games that I have here on my Steam account, I only have like two that support PhysX. So it's one of those situations where, yes, as a best case scenario, a dedicated GTS 450 looks like a great value if you play games that are going to take advantage of it. But if you don't play PhysX enabled games, then you'd probably be better off saving your pennies to grab another 480 to run in SLI or finding some other way to increase the performance of your system. So thanks for checking out my little mini review on using the GTS. 450 as a dedicated physics processor.